Tonight, two strangers in Cherryville are forever bonded after last night's devastating storms. They reunited today after falling trees nearly took both of their lives. Now, one of them was actually hit by a tree while trying to save the other. And our thoughts and prayers are with the community tonight as they try and clean up everything that's damaged there. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger was the only reporter there the moments that these two met face to face for the first time. This is the lady. Oh. The little girl. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> this is the emotional moment Samantha Hardage met yeah. Jason Day, the perfect stranger who risked his own life to save her and her daughters. Definitely um, blessed to still be here, to be in a car and watch your, you know, your life flash before you and you're trapped in there not knowing how you're going to get out or if anyone can even help you. Both were in their cars leaving their daughter's softball game after the game had been canceled due to the storm. It only took an instant for both of their lives to change. One tree fell and not even two seconds later, the second tree fell down on the car. And the instant Jason Day says he saw that tree hit this SUV, he got back out of his truck to try to help. What happened next? He says he's not really sure. I guess like a limb hit me and knocked me up into the air. I mean, I've heard stories that I went as high as the power lines. 12 staples in the back of his head, a broken nose and cheek, and stitches on both sides of his face. Jason is lucky to be home, let alone alive. I feel like um, God laid his hand upon me and brought me through this. I mean, that's the only thing I can attribute to me surviving all that, you know, and getting through it. And when asked whether he would do it all over again. Most definitely. You know, everybody's got now where, you know, they, they just care about themselves and they don't care about anybody else. But, I mean, I'm, I saw somebody in need. In Cherryville, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City Thank News. You so much for everything. Just an amazing story there. Four schools in the Cherryville area will remain closed tomorrow. Gaston County school officials say the closures are due to the state of emergency right now, and they continue to clean up the storm damage in that area.